Hello, my name is Jennifer Clark and I work with my mom, Elka Clark, mentoring and coaching creative entrepreneurs on how to make money online. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial and also explaining the new department tree that Zazzle has created and put out for the designers and the customers to make it easier to shop online with Zazzle and also design online with Zazzle. And they came out with this new department tree following their paper breakout, which I've uh, actually done a video on YouTube about that as well so if you want to check that out check on this channel and there's a video explaining and showing with a tutorial as well the paper breakout and how that affects you as a designer and how it affects your customers and it's actually an amazing thing because the paper breakout allows designers to make specific products and put them into categories and use the products specifically for what the design was for so for example especially with invitations, there's lots of things that people have made with invitations. And saying an invitation was just the standard five by seven card. So people would make graduation announcements, birthday party invites, then obviously holiday cards, wedding invitations, um, announce birth announcements. And these were all kind of categorized under the invitations previously. But with the paper breakout, they've actually created um, specific categories for paper products so then when you as a designer are either trying to select a paper product type it's easier for you and also in the search and uh, you know sort on the Zazzle homepage they've broken it down easier for customers to find the right product that they're looking for so previously for example you would search for an invitation if you were looking for say uh, you know um, a wedding invitation. When you search for wedding invitations, it actually gave you multiple products that really weren't supposed to be in the wedding invitations. They were related to maybe, but it wasn't specifically only wedding invitations. So uh, RSVP cards would be lumped in there, sometimes address labels, sometimes stickers. It was kind of like a whole mixture of things because the Zazzle sort really wasn't, you know, as optimized as it is now. So for the paper breakout, it's given designers many more paper product options to create the proper product for the right design that they're looking for. And following that, Zazzle has now come out with their new department tree, which is also pretty incredible. And they've been working on this for about an, a year or a year and a half, they said in their Zazzle chat video on their YouTube channel. And they've been going through and realizing that designers have become very creative with their uh, designs. So for example, you know, one thing that they mentioned on the Zazzle chat was that people, designers have been making save the date coasters. And previously, you know, coasters, you wouldn't really think of having a save the date invitation design on that product. So Zazzle was thinking more in terms of their, de their departments, they were thinking more product based rather than designed based. And what they've done now is actually understood that there's a lot of different designs that are on many different products and they've broken down these categories more specifically. So you as a designer, you can be extremely creative with the product and design something that sh that maybe is unconventional for that actual product, if that makes sense. So for example, a coaster could be used with a plain pattern because it's for home decor, or for example, it could be used for a save the date invitation. And so obviously those two products are the same product, except they're extremely different designs. So Zazzle wanted to make sure that both of those designs were broken down into proper departments so that a customer can come to Zazzle and find it specifically without having to search through thousands of products. And so this department tree is actually really amazing. So you as a designer, it gives you many more opportunities to actually hone in on where you want to place your design in a very specific category. So it's much easier for the customers to find your product. And also for the customer, it's much more easier for them to go onto the Zazzle homepage and search for something and find what they're looking for in a faster amount of time. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial today is show you how to post a Zazzle product using the new department tree. And it's actually quite easy. And if you're new to Zazzle, um, we have lots of information on our blog on elkaclark.com. Um, unfortunately, in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you everything in terms of how to start out your Zazzle store, but we have lots of YouTube videos explaining many different things on how you can start to make money online with Zazzle. And we also have a free ebook that you can download at elkaclark.com. 
So I'm going to get right in and screen share. I'm going to make a product and I'm going to show you how the new department tree affects you as a designer and the specific things that you have to take into account while you're making your product and posting it for sale so that you actually get it underneath the right department. So I'm going to screen share now. All right, so I'm here on my antique chandelier. This is my Zazzle store. <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new product here. And I wanted to say for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create a holiday card. And I wanted to say for the new paper breakout, if anyone doesn't know uh, where you can find the new design, like the new products for the paper breakout, you can always go to either Zazzle Blanks, which is here, zazzle.com slash Zazzle Blanks. This is a great store name that you can find all of the products as templates and you can use them to create your own products and post for sale. So you've got every single product here. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a paper product. So I wanted to say that to find the new paper product links for the templates that you can use to post for sale, you can always go to the Zazzle blog and I have clicked on their article, which is the paper breakout explained. And I've actually went through this article in the previous video that I did about the paper breakout. So if you wanna learn more, check out that video. But I'm going to scroll down really quickly down at the bottom, which is where they've actually listed all of the new paper products that they've come out with. And I'm going to show you that here, when you see on the side, the name of the product, you can actually click on it and it will open up the proper product that you should be using to design. So because I'm making a holiday card, I clicked on the flat holiday card. So what we're going to do now is click over here and create my own design. So I wanna add an image. I'm gonna make this tutorial short. It's not, I'm not showing you how to do design tips or anything. I'm just showing you specifically how to post a product for sale and make sure that you've got the right criteria for the new department tree. <clears throat> So I wanna make this horizontal. I'm just gonna make a quick design here. Fill this in. I'm gonna make this a template. Make sure that when you make your template, you want to do the fill option so that people's images, like customers' images, actually fill where your picture is, not that it fits it and it crops it off. Now what I'm going to do is add some text. I'm just gonna say, happy holidays. And I'm gonna put this up at the top, center it. I'm gonna make it white. Okay. And then I'm gonna make this a template object as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna say post for sale. I'm done. And now I wanna sell it, okay? So you click on this button here, sell. And I say, yes, post for sale. I'm not putting anything on the back, but you, you know, when you're posting your product, you wanna make sure that everything is correct. So this is just sort of a warning sign telling me that I haven't done anything on the back, but I'm gonna just say post for sale anyway. You don't have to post anything on the back if you don't want to. Okay, so now the title, this is what's really changed in terms of your posting for sale, what you're posting a product for sale. The title is here, and you can see that your marketplace department um, before you had sort of a, um, an option to click, like there was um, you know, a button and you went through this tree, but it was yourself. You were picking your category on where it should go. But now it's not here. You can say browse all departments, but what I'm gonna say is that what they've done is actually really quite cool. It's automated. When you start typing something in, a department automatically will start to pop up underneath here your title is very important at this point in time because your keywords push a notification to Zazzle to tell it what to to say what department it is and you want to be very specific with your title but what I'm going to just say is modern holiday card okay so now that I've clicked off the title you can see that because I put holiday card in the title and also because I've chosen a holiday card to put my design on, the suggested department that comes up is invitations and stationary greeting cards, holiday and seasonal. So obviously I wanna put my product in this department because that's where I think that it should go. So for some reason, if you think that this department isn't correct for the design purposes of your product, you can click on browse all departments, 
click on select a department and you can obviously see all of the departments here and you can hone in on where you want your product to be posted. Okay, so now remember that previously I was speaking about the save to date coasters and how coasters can be put underneath home decor or they can also be put underneath save the dates because it's becoming very trendy. I wanted to show you a product where possibly when you start typing something in on the title, you will get two different departments that pop up because it could be falling underneath either of them. So I've got a glass coaster open. What I'm going to do is just quickly put in on an image and then write save the date on and then we'll post it for sale and I wanted to show you how these two things pop up. Okay, I'm gonna quickly just pick this picture here, fill it in, I'm going to add text, save the date. And remember that you want to make both your text and your photo a template option before you post. Say fill. Then I'm going to say done and I'm going to sell it. And now here, because it's a save the date coaster, I'm going to write in modern save the date coaster. And then as soon as I click off, you'll see that there are two suggested departments, home, kitchen and dining, barware, bar tools and coasters, or invitations and stationery, invitations and announcements and save the dates. And you might think that this is a little bit funny that it's underneath the invitation section, but this is what I was talking about previously, that because Zazzle realizes that designers are becoming more creative with their designs on specific products, they're doing their department's thought with the design in mind, not really specifically always with the product in mind. Because although a coaster really isn't an invitation, because people have become more creative designing on Zazzle and created invitations on coasters, Zazzle decided that, hey, you know, if there are customers looking for an invitation, it doesn't specifically mean that they have to search for a product that is an invitation. They can be searching for a coaster as well. So what we can do is now decide if we wanted to be underneath the home section or if we wanted to be underneath the invitations and stationary section. And because mine is actually a save the date coaster, I'm going to click on save the dates here. That is how they've broken it down and how the department tree is actually extremely helpful for designers and for customers. Thank you very much for watching this video and this tutorial. Hopefully it helps you understand the Zazzle design tree a little bit better and helps you understand that you know your title is very important because although you're designing on a specific product, say a coaster, if I hadn't put in save the date in the title, Zazzle wouldn't have realized or Zazzle's algorithm wouldn't have realized that, hey, this is actually a save the date product and it's not supposed to actually only be meant for kitchen and homeware. So make sure that you do your titles properly and you put in specific keywords so that Zazzle can pick up on those keywords and can make sure that you get your product into the right department that it needs to be in. And as I said, if the department doesn't show up in the suggested departments, you can always browse underneath the other categories and choose the right one. And I wanted to also mention, if you are designing a very specific product and Zales was working on making more departments and you know pushing the tree further so that it gets into subcategories and subcategories so that customers can actually find the design that they're looking for in the end specifically, but for example, if you're making a 50th birthday party invitation, you can make a birthday party invitation and that can be your first department. But because 50th birthday party invitations have become so popular on Zazzle, that actually has its own department too. So you can bump it down many levels and get to the specific root of where your design is supposed to go on the new Zazzle department tree. And this is actually amazing because then designers can put their products in the right spot and customers can really find the products so much easier than before. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. As I mentioned before, you can download our free ebook on elkaclark.com, which gives you the 10 insider tips 
to help you get started on Zazzle if you haven't started designing yet. And as well, check out the other video that I was speaking about, about the paper breakout, if you have yet to watch that. It's very interesting to find out all of the new paper products that Zazzle has come out with recently. So you as a designer can start designing on the right products for what your design was actually specifically made for. Please like this video. If you have any comments or questions, write them down in the chat below and check out the blog article if you have not that goes along with this video explaining a little bit more about the Zazzle department tree and how that affects you as a designer and how it affects customers as well and we will see you soon bye